Isaiah chapter 8, verse number 19. Hear what the word of the Lord says. Isaiah is telling them to fear God, heed God's word. And verse number 19 he says, and when they say to you, seek those who are mediums and wizards, who whisper and mutter, should not a people seek their God? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? When things are chaotic and when things are hectic, stop going to mediums. Stop going to mediums. First John chapter one, verse 20 and 27 tell us that we have no need that any man teach us, but we have an, an anointing, an unction, the spirit of God that lives in us. He will teach us all things. In John, in 1 John 1, 20 and 27, when it says the Holy Spirit teaches you, it means the Holy Spirit advises you. And so when you are in a time of chaos and when you are in a time of confusion and when you're being attacked boldly and when you're being attacked from, side, uh, from, from, from unforeseen uh, and unexpected angles and when all this stuff is hitting you, stop consulting the palm readers. Why? Because remember, there are familiar spirits and those, you know, familiar spirits in one, in, in one sense are like people who are familiar with you, but then on a deeper sense, there are spirits that are, that are familiar with you, Sp spirits in the spirit world that are familiar with you and they share this information and they deceive you into thinking that, oh, this is, this is prophetic when really it is not prophetic. It is prophetic, not P-R-O-P-H-E-T-I-C. It is not prophetic. It is for profit. That's a whole nother thing. Stop spending your money consulting with mediums. I'm speaking right now to somebody. You've been spending money. I'm upset and I'm telling you, I'm upsetting whoever it is that's been profiting off of you. You've been spending money to get advice. And as a believer, y'all got to hear me. You have the Holy Spirit who's your, who's your advisor. He's called, he's called the paraclete. Jesus says to his disciples in, in John chapter number 16, he says, but I'm going to send you another helper. I helped you while I was with you, but I'm going to send with you another helper. The Greek is allos parakletos. He will teach you as I taught you. He will advise you as I advise you. I'm begging you, whoever you are, don't spend another dime with whoever you're spending that money with to advise you. Whatever you need to know, listen, if the spirit of God does not show you, I promise the Lord will send a prophetic person across your path. My heart aches for you, whoever I'm talking to. Stop spending your money with that, please. 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 You become dependent and you dig deep holes. And I'm telling you, it is a money grab. Let me take it another further. Be leery of the prophets who are out for the prophet. Nowhere in the Bible is selling prophecies 
condoned. Nowhere. The spirit that is in us, the Holy Spirit agrees with the Holy Spirit. So there are times where, you know, there will be prophets who will have words of prophecy and they will use those gifts at offering time. And I don't condemn that. I don't condemn it. I know I've done it before. But the motivation can't be money. Y'all stop paying these mediums. I'm begging you. In Isaiah chapter 66, verse number 17, we find what is called a demonic rat. Isaiah chapter 66. I just want to read for you our, uh, our warfare prayer declaration concerning the demonic rat. Verse number 17. Those who sanctify themselves and purify themselves to go to the gardens after an idol in the midst eating swine's flesh and abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, says the Lord. Hear the last part of this. Eating swine's flesh and the abomination of the mouse shall be consumed all together, says the Lord. Now, here's what the mouse or the demonic rat represents. It means financial bondage. Remember I told you, don't go to the crystal ball gazer. Don't go to the palm reader. Don't go to the spiritual advisor. Because guess what they're doing? They're eating up your finances. You are enslaved to them and it will cause financial loss. You are enslaved to them and it will cause financial loss. You probably know somebody who's spending their money in one or two areas to get ahead. They're spending their money to get ahead with people who have these gifts, who can see, who can advise, and they're, they keep you going back because you're not give, they're not giving you the whole picture maybe. And they're convincing you, they're reeling you in that it's an authentic prophetic gift or two. Anything that steals your finances, in particular, the portion of your finances that belong to God. And all of it belongs to God. Like he gives, he gives bread for food and seed to the soul. That's the rat. That's the mouse that's found in Isaiah chapter 66, verse number 17. It causes slavery or bondage and it eats up your finances. It's not harmless. I'm talking to somebody now. Stop it. Stop it. Go to the website, tci-charlotte.com. Read the warfare prayer, but watch this. Here is the one that, that pertains to whoever I'm talking to now. I close the door to every demonic rat that would attempt to come into my life in the name of Jesus. You are being preyed on. The enemy does not want to let you go. I'm telling you now, I have just made whoever your plug is, I have made them angry. Don't fear backlash. And let me tell you, backlash looks chaotic. Backlash comes with condemnation. It comes with all of it. The enemy cannot stand an atmosphere in an environment of worship 
Worship now. Whoever you are, be strong and courageous. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. Make your last time your last time. 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 Repent. Repent and receive refreshing from the presence of the Lord. I hear the Holy Spirit speaking a word of conviction for you knew. You knew not to do, not to consult, not to confer with. But life was hectic and life was chaotic. And you could not hear me. Turn again to me. Even as I speak to you now, I will continue to speak govern, guide, and direct, and instruct you. Put away the potions. Put away the potions. Put away the concoctions. And be free. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Your finances, your fine, Malachi says, return to me, return to me, and I shall return to you. And then they ask God, how shall we return to you? And the Lord said, in tithes and in offerings. Return. That percentage that belonged to the Lord You'd given to the medium. The moment you return it to the Lord, you got to hear me. The moment you return it to the Lord, watch how things break through, break loose, break open for you. But Bishop, they were telling me factual information. The enemy can state facts, but the enemy cannot state truth because truth is truth is not a thing. Truth is a person. Truth is God. Truth is Jesus. Truth is the Holy Spirit. Truth is the word. Truth is us walking. That's truth. And the, it, the, the enemy can't testify of that. He can't testify of that truth. He can't testify of that truth. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Now there is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but walk after the spirit. No condemnation. No condemnation. This is conviction. This is conviction. This is going to break, reverse, and totally deliver you from that bondage that you've been in. And watch the Holy Spirit speak to you. Hallelujah. You, whoever I'm talking to, you are a valuable customer. They're going to be mad at me for you getting free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know ye not that the spirit of God that is in you lusteth to envy. The spirit of God, the spirit of God that lives in you, believer, he he loves us to end. He wants to be your advisor. He wants to be your director. He wants to be the one that leads you. He wants to be, he wants to be the one. He wants to be the one. He wants to be the one. You're going to hear God more clearly than you ever have in your life. You have some of us, we really hadn't heard God the way we are about to hear him. Close the door to every demonic rat. Every demonic rat, every demonic rat, every demonic rat. They speak, they speak facts, but it's not true. They can give you facts, but they can't give you truth. 
If it ain't pointing you to, if it's not pointing you, if it's not pointing you to the God of all salvation, if it's not pointing you to his Christ, It's the spirit of error. Break the chains. Yes, break the chains. Break the chains. Father, in Jesus' name, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Whoever this portion of this message is for, I declare deliverance now in the name of Jesus. And I declare, God, that the enemy who will act up because he has been exposed and cast out, who will seek who will seek to execute backlash on whoever it is that is set free. I declare that it will not work. You have not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. So I declare and decree even now, God, by the power of your grace divine, that whoever I'm speaking to, whoever I'm speaking to right now prophetically, I declare and decree that your grace will enable them to fear not that they will not be tormented for you love them and your love, your love is perfect and perfect love casts out fear. In Jesus' name, 